Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're doing our final part, which is part eight of BFB, but there is no split. So those were the 10 contestants still remaining. Here is the chart from BFB one now to BFB 80. And BFB 72 was the previous episode, so we're now on to BFB 73. And I finally decided that BFB 75 will actually be the episode I'm skipping because there won't be an elimination, but a popularity vote with the remaining contestants after two of them are out. But without further ado, let's decide the three people up for elimination from the final 10. So the contestants I have up for elimination are Book, Remote, and Pen. So the only one safe for the bottom two is Remote. The bottom two are Book and Pen. But despite this being the final part, it probably won't be as long as the other parts since I won't waste your time and just say Pen is the last person safe. I have no other words but say that Book is the last character we're kicking out that doesn't have a single digit placement. That being to have place. Which 10 is two digits. I guess that's kind of retribution for ac accusing Taco for abandoning the team. But I wouldn't say it's karma completely because she apologized about it. So the three I have up for elimination are Coiny, Pen, and Lollipop. So the only one safe from the bottom two is Coiny. Which the bottom two are Lollipop and Pen. Coiny has the supporters of Pen on her side. Well, on his side. And the supporters of Coiny did have Pen's side. So, they did a little bit of retribution. And I highly doubt there's even a soul that likes one over the other. Or at least one of them, but not the other. If not, doesn't like both. But I'm not going to waste your time and say Penn was actually a likable character. So, he is the last person safe. Plus, the people of Penn, like Remote and Tree will also decide to vote for Penn. And Lollipop is no remaining contestants left to support her. Well, unless the Newbie Alliance still somehow forms with the other people that weren't season one veterans whatsoever. But I highly doubt that since Gelatin isn't here. But I still think that Lollipop might be friends with Teardrop. If that's possible in this alternate timeline. But overall, bye-bye Lollipop. BFB 75 doesn't have an elimination like I just said earlier in the video, but I'm going to solve that by having a popularity vote. So here's who I think, here's how I think the order of popularity would go. Um, Stapy, Tree, Pen, Pen, Donut, Teardrop. And I feel like it might be close, but Coiny would take first place. It would probably be close between the top three. So, a fuck for winning. I mean, I did say there was no point system, as it's hard to calculate points when this is all in puppets. I would have done this if it was all Q and A. Uh, well, I wouldn't say Q and A. I might do a Q and A, but back to the main topic. But I'm just saying that if I did this in PowerPoint or Google Slides or whatever, this would be better to calculate and to do, but this will take longer. But Coiny would win regardless, but it would just be close between everyone else. All right, so this is actually the last elimination that I'm going to be putting up three people as opposed to like putting up four or five from last time. Last couple of times to be exact. So Pen, Stapy, and Pen will be up for elimination. 
The first and only one safe from the bottom two is Stapy since he just came back. And people want to, to survive at least one elimination. So the bottom two are Pen and Pen. I mean, I could cut to the chase, but I'm going to give some brief explanations. Pen has interacted with Coiny more than Pen has had, had interacted with him. But I feel like nostalgic times would kick in for the characters. So Pen could have a chance. Like I said, Remote and Tree are still here, so one of them could I guess I guess both of them will split off to pick Pen. And I feel like half or at least one third of Coiny's fans would pick Pen over Pen. And I feel like if all of this will work, it would still be close, but it could go either way. But I think Pen will still be the last person safe, and Pen will get out. She had a good run, and she was a decently likable character. But it's not her time to point a direction and leave the game. <laughs> now that we're at the final seven, I'm only just going to pick a total of like two characters. And then once we get to the final five, I'll just pick one character to be immune. So the two characters I think will win immunity are Donut and Teardrop. Safe are remote, coiny, and pen. The bottom two are stapy and tree. For tree, he has a bit of an arc, but has to split votes with remote and pen. And stapy has no one to split votes with, with. Well, he has no one to split votes with. Sorry about that. Which is why he was actually safe here. Well, safe the last time. I thought for that reason, again, Stapy would probably survive in a close bet. And Tree would actually had to leaf the competition. Huh. That's two eliminations where I had to come up with a pun in a row. So the two characters with immunity are Remote and Pen. Okay, safe or teardrop? Since she has no one to split votes with. And Donut. The bottom two are Coiny and Stapy. Like the last couple eliminations, Stapy has no one to split votes with. While Coiny is still a fan favorite. And given he's been a fan favorite for quite longer, I won't waste your time and just say that Coiny is the last person safe. That means the stapler incidents caused this elimination once again. Bye, Stapy. You had a good run while you were at it. At least you got to survive a couple eliminations here and there. And also, he got out because he was the bottom two last time with Tree. Well, would you look at that? We're one more elimination left. That means we've got to have one more character get out before the finale, which is episode 80. So let's see who'll get immunity. I feel like the character who would get immunity is... Donut. Okay, safe are remote and coin. The bottom two are pen and teardrop. This is arguably probably the hardest bottom two I've ever had to predict. Who will be the 61st, well, 61st and final contestant eliminated from the competition? Who oh, it's a very anticipating, anticipating bottom two that I've ever had to predict. But it could go either way, and the votes would be very close with everyone who was up for elimination. I mean, we can't have two characters of the same color stay. One has to go. And I feel like since people found her eliminations very unfair in the past, Teardrop would be the last person safe. Although it could be close between her and Penn. That means Pen comes up just short of being in the finale. 
Sorry, Penn. You had a great game. And I'm glad you made it further than season one. And you're actually one of the top two voted for IDFB2. But you just had to go. Also, for those wondering, I didn't say who goes after who in the elimination order because I'm writing it down. And speaking of which... All right, we're at the finale. And the finalists are, which are pretty obvious, Coiny, Donut, Remote, and Teardrop. I would play a whole round of applause, but I don't have time for that. So our 61 eliminated contestants are watching over and congratulating our finalists. So let's move on to the positions of everyone. So for fourth place, I feel like the character that would go here is... Yes, and it's very close between everyone. I'm talking it might probably be a BFB 22 situation, at least for the canon timeline. Coiny would probably get fourth... Even though he could get top three, but like I said, it's pretty close. And for third place. Remote. Like I said, it's very close, but remote has been a fan favorite for quite a while. And a lot of people like the text, the speech characters in this show. So the top two are Donut and Teardrop. A season one veteran whose eliminations were very unfair to the audience versus Donut. A character who started off as a mediocre all the way to one of the most likable. But since I do care about the likability of the characters, this was a very close top two for who could win this season if there wasn't a split. But the winner is Teardrop. Congratulations to her. And no, I'm not doing a whole round of applause like I just said. And it was still pretty close. And unlike Teardrop, where she wasn't really all that hated, Donut was hated for a brief amount of time. Before the people who hated him Decided to change their mind. So Teardrop is the winner. And that concludes our very BFB. But there is no split prediction. And here's our finalized chart. Nope. Given there are 65 contestants. And the big old black table. But given I do have enough space. Given I could just remove everything that's on the table right now. To compile up the elimination order. I'm still going to say who was the bottom of the barrel and who was the top position. Teardrop being the first place and Roboti being the bottom of the barrel. And 8-Ball being the second bottom of the barrel. But like I said, 8-Ball will probably not be as interesting even if he did rejoin the game. He'll probably get out shortly after. But you know what I want to do with this now, huh? Yeah, I apologize if I had to do this. Because the series is over. And thank you guys so much for watching. The Teapot prediction will come as soon as Teapot 10 drops. And the voting for that episode comes to an end. So when we get the voting results for Teapot 10... For Teapot 11, boom, that's when the prediction starts. So, let's just remove some of the characters from the bunch, shall we? The characters removed are either eliminated in the current season, or in the exit, or just a part of the post split in general. But some people are saying that some people from the post split might move here again, just like with Teardrop. And speaking of which... I do have the current 16 eliminated contestants at the time. It's about to be 17 once Teapot 10 drops. And 
it's said that most likely a solid character might leave. I mean, it said Bombi, who was actually guaranteed the most votes, but the bottom two are literally the only characters that aren't Bombi that are actually solid. The other two are either mediocre or just terrible. Yeah, let me just pan it over to the eliminated contestants currently. So minus that, I removed 22 characters from the group plus the 13 eliminated contestants. Well, 16 eliminated contestants. That equals 38. That equals 38 characters removed from the bunch. So here are the 20, well, 28. I Yeah, I believe it's 28. I don't have price tag right here because... Hold on, let me get their puppet. Boom, now that's your equal 28 contestants. I apologize if I miscounted the amount of eliminated people. That's actually equal a total of 15 eliminated contestants. Yeah, 15, I miscounted it as 16, I apologize. Let's just say my common sense just doesn't work sometimes. So here are the 15 eliminated contestants. Plus the 28 contestants here. But Price Tag is the only one that wasn't a part of the no split prediction. Because I didn't think they would debut. But still probably get like top three. Just like the results for Teapot 1. So. That's the end. Thank you all so much for watching in the Teapot 10 prediction. Well, the second Teapot prediction I might make will come after Teapot 10 drops and the voting comes to an end for that episode so we can make it up for Teapot 11. Plus, I already have the chart ready. So I've yet to know which two teams will lose for Teapot 10. And who really gets out. But I won't put the names of the people who are out in the chart until we get to the merge. But let me know which episode y'all think should be the rejoin episode. Like the first rejoin episode. I might have a total of like three rejoins. As opposed to no split prediction. We had at least four or five. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.